Hey everyone, it's Cinnamon. Tonight I will be doing Trial of the Grand Crusader on 10 Man. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them below and I will respond to them as soon as possible. So, first up we have Gormok the Impaler. Um, basically what he will do is he will put a stacking debuff on your pet, which will do some damage but it's not enough to actually kill it, so you don't have to worry about that too much. Just throw a men pet on every now and then. He will also occasionally summon Snowbolts, um, about four in my case, and each one will throw a fire on the ground every once in a while, and you want to make sure you get out of it. It has a much larger radius than it appears as spell effect. Um, if you get too many stacks, you will definitely die. Um, for this attempt, I went for the achievement for the Snowbolts, where you leave two up and you kill um, Ice Howl. So that's what I'll be doing. Um, as you see, I'm running from all of them because I thought they were going to jump on me and begin facefucking me, but for some reason they didn't, so whatever. Um, the two worms, you're going to want to misdirect both of them to your pet, and for this attempt I'm also going for the achievement where you kill both of them within 10 seconds. So you want to even them out over the course of the fight. And lastly we have the Yeti, which can also be found in the Brawler's Guild. Um, he is extremely easy. When he jumps to the center of the room, just simply move out of the way. You don't need any speed boosts, but um, they're always nice to have. You can get swiftness potions if you really need them. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Boss number two is Lord Jaraxxus. The key to this fight is getting the nether portal down in under six seconds, otherwise it will spawn a mistress which can potentially kill you. Now it will spawn exactly 23 seconds into the fight, so before then you don't really need to worry about anything. Now if you look at the left, a nether portal will spawn and it will take me exactly two seconds to react to it and that will leave me with about 4 to DPS it. Now I had lock and load proc beforehand, so I had 3 explosive shots and a glyph throw to use. That was more than enough, and it allowed me to get it down in just enough time. Other than that, he doesn't do anything all that special. His fill fireballs will hit your pet and do some damage, but it's not enough, even with 5 stacks. Um, you can tranquilize him, but it's not necessary. Um, he will also spawn volcanoes. Um, he only spawned one for me, so not a big deal. Um, just kill it and move on. If he puts fell flames on you, just run around and don't stand in it. Common sense, pretty much. And towards the end of the fight, if you would like the achievement, all you have to do is get him down, make sure your dots don't kill him, pull your pet off, and wait around for the next nether portal. And as soon as the second one spawns, you can go ahead and kill him. Next up we have the Faction Champions. Now because this fight varies from person to person, I'm simply going to explain what I did as it happens. Hopefully you'll be able to take something from it nonetheless. So I start off by placing a freezing trap and a snake trap right next to the group. This way they will very likely run into it. Now the root from it does not always seem to work as they sometimes will run through it because they do have various buffs and debuffs and all that stuff. So I'm going to burn the priest down first because it is a healer and it has lower health than the average. 
I use Leto's Venom to reduce its healing taken, and I forgot to rebind it, which happens. Now since the priest is very squishy, I take him down extremely fast. And at this point I kind of panic because I didn't actually plan it out, I just kind of went with it to see how it would uh, go. So I decided to target the shaman, and I kited away from the holy paladin in hopes that I can kill it. Which I actually managed to do because the paladin is a very bad healer for some reason. So I go for the paladin next because why not? And because paladins are bitches, it stunned me and then bubbled. And at this point my health is starting to get low, so I use the Terrence to take some damage away while I wait for the bubble. And as soon as it wears off, I annihilate him. all while keeping my distance from the rogue to reduce damage taken. So the paladin is dead now, and I'm going after the druid because he can dot me and I don't want any dots on me because they end up doing more damage over time. Now at this point I turn around and scatter shot the rogue and then I place a freezing trap on the mage and silence the mage at the same time, just barely getting away. I got down to 4k health, which is pretty much one swing away from dying. Now the rogue shadow steps to me and disorients me for an entire minute. All the while, my health regenerates because I have spirit bond. GG. And that is how I managed to do this in one attempt. You have no idea how surprised I am that I was able to pull this off. Last week I tried this. It was with a druid and shaman healer. There was a shadow priest and a warlock throwing dots on me the entire time. And I also had a warrior which would stun me on occasion. It would also disarm me and then I had a Retribution Paladin, which would stun me as well. So that was... that was terrible. I think it took me 20 attempts before I finally said I had... I just had enough. So my Disorient finally wears off, and I finish off the rogue. Moving on to the Twin Valkyries, I start off by telling my pet to stand in the middle of that triangle over there. That way I can misdirect both of them to the center of the room because they have very large hitboxes. Now I took the Dark Essence because the attempt before, uh, the Light One decided to cast the shield on itself, and so it would just be easier for me to start with Dark and go from there. So you want to pick up as many dark orbs as you can, but I wouldn't suggest activating the ability, which you do by reaching 100 stacks, until um, at least halfway through the fight. You also want to save all of your DPS cooldowns for once you do that as well. That way you can burst them down fairly quickly. Um, I think I did this in about 2 minutes, so you can get the achievement pretty easily. Last on the list is Anub Arak. Now this fight was actually a lot easier than I expected it to be. So first you'll want to knock down three of the ice orbs, just three, and as the burrows come out you want to 
direct them onto the ice so that way you can burn them down without them burrowing. If they manage to burrow, it's probably not a big deal, but it's best to just make sure they're not up later on. Now your pet will take quite a bit of damage, so do watch for men pet. And you will get two sets for every up phase the Numerok has, so do pay attention to that. And when he burrows, he doesn't actually hit you for a whole lot, so you can, you know, get away with quite a few hits. Um, what you want to actually do is disengage over the ice, not fail on it like I did. And I did not go for the achievement here because I didn't want to focus on that, I just wanted to finish the run. So. Once he comes back up, the same thing will happen. Knock down three ice orbs and pay attention to the burrowers. At this point, you'll want to get him to around 35 to 40%. Once the second set of adds come out for the second up phase, you want to quickly kill them, and right after that, you want to push him over the 30% threshold, activating Leeching Swarm. At this point, you do not want to heal your pet, otherwise it will heal the boss for a lot. Now, I did luckily have Blessing of the Naru, which allowed me to survive this. I don't know if it's possible for other races, but it is possible for me. So, lucky me. And a third set of ads did come out, and I got the hell away from them and finished the boss off just in time. So, with all that said, if you enjoyed the video or found it of some help, please do give it a like. I'd really appreciate it. And if you'd like to see more of these videos, you're welcome to subscribe. I'm going to attempt to do one of these each week, but I can't promise anything. Anyways, thanks for watching.